Hello YouTube, Validation Boy here. Big Science has recently claimed that the moon is inside Earth's atmosphere. This is nothing more than propaganda intended to reinforce the completely nonsensical notion that our atmosphere is a gradient pressure system rather than a contained system. As all known physics dictates, it is impossible for a pressurized system to exist next to a vacuum without a barrier. To counter this obvious paradox, big science would have us believe that atmospheric particles become less and less densely distributed the farther out they are. But here are some major problems with that. As I demonstrated in a previous video, there is no such thing as an isolated particle. The only way a particle can exist within the realm of measurable space-time is if it is in contact with at least one other particle. Otherwise, it could not be considered part of our observable reality. How can atoms of pressurized gas be measured to decrease in density unless, like all physical matter, they are contained within a finite and tangible medium? And would we not consider that obligatory medium a material thing? There is no such thing as matterless space. There is no empty space anywhere in the universe. Not even between the tiniest particles. That would be a total paradox. And that's how we know the gradient pressure system of Earth's atmosphere is not a reality. This is how big science says our solar system travels through the universe. Note the amount of speed, resistance, and drag that are intrinsic to this model. If there were no resistance or drag taking place, all the celestial bodies in our alleged solar system would have been sucked into the sun long ago. If this corkscrew model is correct, then the moon must be perpetually hovering within a section of the pressurized gas that drags behind the Earth. Is this field of decreasingly pressurized particles dispersed evenly outward in all directions? Does this field stay statically attached to the spinning globe despite the crazy arc speeds those most distant and decreasingly dense particles would need to maintain? I thought gravity was supposed to pull matter towards planets, not push it away. These particles on the front side of the Earth are being propelled forward into space despite being less densely dispersed. I wonder, do they circle to the back and around the front again without losing their position relative to the Earth? Do they suffer from entropy and lose mass as they drag behind the planet? If your answer has anything to do with a lack of resistance or drag in space, just remember your model. You see, the inconsistencies between all of Big Science's various fables concerning outer space are beyond laughable at this point. None of it makes sense. In reality, the entire heliocentric model is one huge steaming pile of bullshit designed to discredit the magnificence of our Holy Father's creation, and nothing more. How much longer are grown adults going to believe in these cartoons? As always, much respect, and thanks for watching.